goes down, I'm laying that stick across the back. Now I'm gonna get I'm gonna get in tight here. This hand goes palm up, and this is gonna be my fulcrum for applying the choke. Once I get in here, right, uh, break the guard. As he comes around to break the guard, now I'm turning and I'm applying that choke. So it's elbows together with his neck in the middle of it. Does it matter which way he goes? Does it screw it, you up if he goes the other way? Yeah, it can. Yeah, because it, it's opening it up, right? Because his defense of that is to get something in the middle of this and break it open. All right, so if he goes the other way, well, so if he goes the other way, right, and he's pulling it open, mm. I just, I just got to turn into it, right? So this, this motion with the elbow is the same. Gotcha. So, so when his neck is in there, come back in, I'm doing that same motion. And I'm just, I'm just rotating my hips. But like you said earlier, everybody, they want to get past the legs. Yeah, they're going to go past it. They're going to go past it. And, and so if you make it easy to get out, like if you drop your hip on that side, they'll go to that yeah. side. So it, like instinctively. Standing. Same thing from standing. We're wrapped up. You know, however, and I mean, it happens, right? This stick is up here. So now I'm just going to just lay my hand up inside of it. I'm going to use my forearm, press against him. And when I go to apply it, if he stands up, whatever he tries to do, I'm going to turn it here. And I'm going to apply that here. Right? And then from here, I can leverage him to a throw or whatever. But I like this because the weapon's not getting wrapped up with anything. Right? It's not getting wrapped up with the clothes or anything. And this is a very, very effective choke. And you want to be clunking your hands together. And then that, you can see how that, that space disappears there on that. That's the motion you're trying to do. Right on. That Thanks. Cool. Good stuff.